Hey guys, it's Coco Stern with Concept Hunter, and today our subject is rock bottom, so let's get started immediately. And this thing made me laugh, and I'll explain why in just a second. So, you can jump is the tagline for the level, and uh, where am I, how did I get stuck down here, how far down is down here anyways. So we get the, the semblance of a story, and I'm a girl, playing a girl that is stuck in a cave. And that's about it. You can jump, so it's a platformer, arrow keys, hell yeah. And then, how do I get out? And the tagline is you can jump higher. Um, I, but one thing about the tagline, the second you move, the tagline goes away. So you could leave it there for like five seconds, because people will, if they just move immediately, they'll miss it. Uh, I actually missed some of them, so just say. And now the really weird thing happens. So, I'm gonna fall and die. And then I'm alive back immediately, and I can jump higher. And that's just it. <laughs> that's the that's the mechanic of the game, which is a pretty cool mechanic. But didn't you just start with a story about a girl being stuck in a cave, and then she kills herself to jump higher? What? It's just a little weird. And what makes it weirder and and funnier is the the sound effects. Now notice that there's no music, but there's this. The, the, um, the music is supposedly just, you know, wind through a, through a cave. It's just the sounds of a cave. It's just a little bit of dripping that we, we hear, and, uh, and just like the wind, so it's just kind of static. And it's really, well, it's nice. I really like it, actually, that you're, you're stuck in a cave. And it emphasizes, it puts emphasis on the sounds. And the sounds are wonderful! Because I'm going to jump down here, I'm going to get smushed, and then, check it out. It's like thump. That thump is perfect. And then you get back, and now you can jump higher. And you have to also notice the animation, which is also hilarious. Because every time you die, you turn into stone. It's like a tombstone. And you do like this. So you you do like this, and then when you get back, there's this. And she also does like this every time. Look look at the actual character. It's lovely. It's just I I really laughed. Oh wait, oh, I need to jump higher, sorry. <laughs> I need to jump higher, here, and now I need to fall. <laughs> Seriously, it really, it actually made me laugh, it made me smirk because this is, what the hell is going on in this game? It's, it's just weird in a way, and it's funny. And that's why I forgive the fact that there's no story and that it's weird that it's a girl stuck in a cave and then she kills herself to jump higher. That's weird, and that's, it raises an eyebrow, like, what the hell are you doing? But then it's so adorable, <laughs> it's so funny and, and, and made in that way that I don't even care. And there, I, I still want to say, I, I still want to point out those things, that it's funny and ridiculous in a way, and in the other way, it's, uh, you did start with the story. So, I would be, I would like it much better if you actually choose one of the two. So either have a proper story of this, of what the hell's going on here, or just forget it. Or just, you know, go crazy stupid stuff. And and just enjoy that. Now, um, that, that's the, the one thing, the one critic critique that I have in that area. About the mechanics themselves, I want to point out something. What you need to do, you'd think that uh, the jumping ability that you get is actually calculated by the length that you fall. But that's not the case. And if I jump to the... I'm gonna fall from here to the bottom platform, and then I'm gonna get some jumping power at this area right here. So I'm gonna fall, and notice how much I'm falling. Right? But what about if I make the maximum jump and then fall? There's no difference. Now, the reason that there's no difference is because the game does not calculate anything. The only, the only thing that the game does is understand from which platform you jumped, or you fell down, and to which platform you got to. And that gives you a very specific set amount of jumping ability. So there's no actual calculation happening, it's just the platform that I, I am on and the platform that I get to and that gives me a very specific amount. Now the specific amount differs from each level. So the, the full bar could be this much in one level and that much in another level. 
So you can't actually go by that, and there, there's no way for you to actually understand or know how much. I, there's no need for me to jump maximum and then fall, I could just fall. And it's a little weird and it's a little bit to the detriment of this game because I would really like to see game design propelled by um, the exact length that you need and maybe edging out that additional, the tiny additional um, um, jumping that you need to do in exactly the length. But it, I don't mind it that much because still, finding the correct platform to jump from is nice. I mean, right here, that's, that does not a lot. And if I jump to the bottom platform, it's giving me a little bit more. And so I could jump all the way up here. In addition to that, there's also um, these things. These things are, are supposedly trampolines that just get you to a different area and go through the stone. So I'd be fine with the teleport, but that just floats you, which you float anyway with the jumping power, but floats you through things as well. I don't, I don't know, just a little bit weirded out by a couple of the mechanics that they're just, they, they work in a weird fashion. And I understand what they need to do in mechanic form, but in terms of, um, of, of the, the story, I, I guess, it's just, I don't know, it's just weird. There's a couple of weird things that happen here. And here I need to just fall down while evading things, so I'm going to need to not hit that one. No, I need to do this all the way down. I need to hit, reach the bottom platform to get the maximum bar, and I can jump and reach it once again. Now, we've done enough things to um, merit a new, a new mechanic or something new, so now we have these spikes that if you fall on, you die, but they don't give you jumping ability at all. Okay, that's fine. So we, we got these couple of, um, of mechanics and there's also a couple of additional mechanics that jump add to the game. So the progression in this game is pretty nice and the, the way that they use it is pretty nice as well. As you can see now, I had spikes on both ends so I had to jump not too big and not too small, I had to jump just right. And obviously, I control it with how much I'm, I'm, I'm actually pressing. And the softer they are, now we're introduced to an additional mechanic. So these things are basically um, just, I don't know, just like cushions, I guess. And the cushions are, they just decide uh, specifically how much, they just don't let me die, that is. Excuse me, they just don't let me die. And I just have to find the correct platforms, and that should give me enough to jump to the next area, I guess. And basically, that's just it. You need to find what platform you need to jump from to which other platform you need to jump from. So here, that this one gives me a little bit, and there's also actually a better one, because that's not enough. Uh, yeah, I finished the game already, so I know that. This will be the maximum amount, and then I can reach here, which is the highest platform, and jump all the way and reach the end. So the last mechanic that we're gonna talk about, though not the last mechanic of the game, is side to side. As you can see, I could just pass on here, and the progression is nice in that sense. I wish you'd go crazier. I wish you'd go just stupid stuff and not have the semblance of a story at all, and make it even more ludicrous with uh, falling down. I just, I just love it. It's just like... It's, it's just adorable. I, I really... it made me laugh. It really did. And uh, the way that they use the level design uh, with the, con the constrictions that they did put on themselves is really nice. I mean, we, we started off... and the level design and the progression are really, really nice. We started off with just stones, then there's this... just, you know, the cave structure, then there's these stones that I can jump through or be on, then we have the spikes, and now we, we're, we're using precision to jump correctly Wherever, where they want us to, and uh, now I need to get over here, but that's not going to be enough, so which one? I can't actually remember. Uh, let's see. I don't even know. And, and you see, this is where you actually get stuck. You need to, under, to find the correct platforms that you need to jump from. And I don't... I, honestly, I keep dying. I don't honestly know right now uh, but we're gonna stop it here so I won't embarrass myself any longer. And I do want to say one last thing about this game. Towards the last, the, the couple last levels, there's actually just 15 levels, so it's, it's a pretty short game. But I actually got stuck. I actually got stuck because I really didn't know what to do. 
And uh, the last additional mechanic that I'm going to spoil for you is kind of a, a gravity thing that allows you to, you know, I'm falling, it allows you to stop in place and then move horizontally as much as you want. Well, not as much as you want, just a little bit, but it's enough to allow you to, you know, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, and I can't, and, and now I'm stopping here, there's spikes, and you're going over here with the horizontal gravity thing, and then falling down more, more so, it allows, uh, adds additional complexity to the game. And with that mechanic, uh, it's it, you need to really understand and, and really find the correct platform to jump from and to reach, and it can get a little tricky. It can get tricky, and it did. I, I did get stuck for a couple of minutes, which was really cool. I, I love it when I just don't know how to pass a game, and um, it, it was a little bit difficult. So, commend that game for that. This is Rock Bottom. It's by Amy D. That's her name. A M Y D E E. Amy D. Uh, really lovely game. I wish you'd go with the story. Um, either completely full story or completely stupid. I prefer the stupid because the sound effects are just hilarious. Sound effects and music or ambience are really wonderful. And uh, that's it. That's it for me. I'm Coca Stern. If you like my stuff, I would very much appreciate it if you subscribe. And that's it. That's Concept Hunter. I will see you next week. Bye.